Hey, it's me, SKD, and today we are going to create this amazing rotational zoom transition inside the free version of the Vinci Resolve. I will also be sharing project files in a community post which will be available for the channel members only. So if you are interested, you can get it for just 29 rupees. Alright, let's jump in. Okay, so here I am on the edit page and as you can see, I have already added 3 clips and I am working with 60 frames per second composition. So before you follow me, make sure to set up everything properly. Okay, now the first thing we are going to do is add an adjustment clip. So for that, simply go to this top left section and here you will see this effects icon just click on it then go to this toolbox now click on this mini arrow to expand it and here you will see this effects option just click here and on this right side we have our adjustment clip so simply click and drag it to the timeline then place it in the beginning of our composition now just go to the end of your first clip and at this point click on this adjustment clip then simply press ctrl plus d to make a cut select the right side of it press backspace to delete it now place the playback head on top of this adjustment clip and open it in the fusion page Okay, so on Sphere and Fusion, you will have something like this. Now, in order to create the transition, we are going to use the transform node. So, with this media in on node selected, add a transform node to it. Now, go to the beginning of our composition. And at this point, simply go to the inspector and add a keyframe for this size and also for the angle. Now just go to the end of our composition and at this point simply double click on this size box and change the value to something like 1.3 then double click on this angle box and change the value to something like minus 15. Let me double click here to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now if I play it, you will see our animation is looking something like this which is kind of linear so we need to adjust the curve. And for that, simply go to this top right section and here you will see this spline icon. Just click on it. Now let me go around here and adjust the spline tab a little bit. I will just keep it somewhere around here. Then tick this size box. Now go to this right side and click on this zoom to fit icon. Now just select the keyframes then press S on your keyboard. Now just follow me. Take this bottom handle and move it upwards like this. Then go around here and take this top handle and drag it downwards like this let's keep it somewhere around here okay now we need to repeat the same process for the angle so go to this left side and double click on this size box to deselect it then click on this angle box now click on this zoom to fit icon then simply select the keyframes and press s on your keyboard take this top handle and drag it downwards like this now take this bottom handle and move it upwards like this let's keep it somewhere around here now if i go to the frames zero then double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this and i believe it's looking pretty cool but we can make it even more better by adding the motion blur so let's do this to add the motion blur simply click on this transform one node then go to the inspector and switch to this settings tab now simply go to this bottom and here you will see this motion blur tick this box then click on this quality slider and bring it all the way up now click on this subtle angle slider and bring it all the way up as well now if you want you can simply double click on this quality box and change the value to something like 30 or 50 it will make your motion blur look much more better but keep in mind that it will also make it heavier so for the tutorial sake i'm going to keep it 10 okay now let's open it in the edit page okay so in order to apply it on the rest of the clips you just have to click on this adjustment clip then press alt and drag it upwards to make a copy now simply select this adjustment clip and place it on top of your another clip. Let me bring it down like this and now I will make another copy by simply pressing alt and moving it upwards. Then I will click here and move it to the third clip and bring it down like this. Now this clip is quite long so we need to adjust the duration of our adjustment clip and we also need to change the position of our keyframes. So let me show you how to do that. First let's change the duration of our adjustment clip. For that simply go to the end of this adjustment clip and drag it until it fits properly with your third clip. Now let's place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page. Now in order to change the keyframes, we need to use the keyframes editor. And to open it, simply go to this top right section. First let me close this spline tab. Then click on this second icon to open the keyframes tab. Now just go to the bottom and first thing first, click on this zoom to fit icon. Then go to this left side and here you will see this transform one. Click on this mini arrow to expand it and you will see these white vertical lines. These white lines are our keyframes and we need to adjust the last two keyframes. So simply select these two keyframes frames then click on any of them and drag them to the end of our composition uh let's keep them here because if i move the playback head you will see we can't move more than 59 frames and that's exactly the point where our keyframes is okay now let me close this keyframes tab and open them in the edit page now let me go to frame zero then double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this and that's how you create this smooth zoom in transition now let me show you how to create the zoom out transition as well and it's actually quite easy to create let me show you how so in order to create the zoom out transition what we are going to do is simply click on this adjustment clip and make another copy of it 
Now let me place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page. Creating the zoom out transition is quite simple. We just need to reverse the animation and we can do this from the spline tab. So let me go to the top right section and open the spline tab. Then go to the bottom and take this transform box. Now click on this zoom to fit icon. Then go around here and click once. Then simply press Ctrl plus A to select all of the keyframes. Now at the bottom you will see bunch of options. And we are going to use this option called River. So simply click on it and you will see our keyframes has changed. And also if I go to frame 0 then go to the inspector. You will see at this point our size is 1.3 and angle is minus 15. So it has reversed the animation. And now if I double click here and play it. You will see it's looking something like this. Uh, the preview is a little laggy so let me stop it and open it in the edit page. Okay so here I have already applied the adjustment clip on rest of the clips and also disable the second timeline. Now let me go to frame 0 then double click here and play it. You will see it's looking something like this. So this is our zoom out transition. Now let's play both of the transitions together to see how they are looking. Okay so here I have already applied the transition on all of them. Now if I play it you will see it's looking something like this. So that's how you create this smooth rotational zoom transition inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If this tutorial was helpful then give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch my other videos. I will see you in the next one. Till then see ya.